school by teachers. Okay, so you have to complete it. Okay. And in examination, they will ask portion from these chapters, uh, like on the right hand side, you can see the name of chapters. Yes. So we have to complete. Actually, uh, the last part is application of computer in financial account. Okay. So these are related to computer. Uh, I can teach you a little bit, but uh, I'm uh, actually these are a little bit difficult for me also. Uh, actually, computer is not part of accountancy. This is a separate thing. Okay. So okay. you can uh, do it by yourself or not. I'll try. Okay. Uh, actually, I will ask our team if there is any a computer teacher, then uh, I will ask them. Okay. Okay. So first of all, let us know about accountancy. Because to understand anything in accounts, you should know what is accountancy. So accountancy or uh, sometimes we use accounting. So what is accounting? Now, in accounting, we record transactions, record transactions and present the data in a manner so that at the end we will know Profit or loss of business and the financial position. Now, if I ask you that what is the purpose of starting a business? If you want to start a business, your main purpose. Am I audible? No, your voice is uh, not coming in between. It is breaking? Yes. Okay. Is it audible now? Yes. Okay. So I am saying that accounting means recording the transactions of business means whatever you purchase or sale or any expenses that you pay any income that you receive. Okay. All these things are recorded in our books in a manner that it will result in calculation of profit or loss and financial position. Okay. Okay. So if I ask you, uh, what is your main purpose? If you want to start a new business, then what is your main purpose of starting a business? The loss and profits. The profit, not loss. Actually, uh, you, you always want to earn profit, not loss. Yes. Yes. Okay. Loss is, a you can say, a outcome that we don't want, but it happens sometimes. Okay, but our main focus is to earn profit. Okay. Okay, so main purpose of business is profit. And how you will know that in your business you have earned profit or loss? By the financial uh, statements or? Yes, by recording all the transaction, by comparing your income and expenses, during the year. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. So to record the transaction, accounting is used. Now, when you go to a shop where you purchase goods on credit and uh, you pay amount sometime. Okay. So if you purchase goods on credit, then have you seen someone 
recording something in their books first of all have you purchased anything on credit from someone yes okay and if you have purchased something then have you seen them recording something in their books no no because let's say in a small business if this business is small then they will remember all the transaction they have done yes yes but if the business is big transactions number are very high number of transactions are high then will they able to remember all the transaction uh yes if the transact let's say there is thousand of transaction in a month they will remember all the transaction no no so what they do is record every transaction in their books so that they don't have to remember it because it is written so you don't have to remember it uh, if you remember the concept in old times uh 15 to 20 years before people remember the phone number of other person but nowadays you you will see that any person uh don't remember the phone number of others mobile numbers yes yes because you can easily record them in your phone and whenever you require it you will see the phone and there is the number so you don't have to remember it but in old times they write in uh, some small pocket notes so that at any time if they have to call then they can use this okay so this is why when uh, you don't want to remember anything then you record the transaction in your books and the recording is done by two methods just one minute okay so we record the transaction so that we don't have to remember and when we record the transaction it is recorded in chronological order now what is chronological order it means whenever transaction happens we will record it by its occurrence okay and recording is done by two methods one method one system is called single entry system and the other is called double entry system now in old times there was no rules related to accountancy so people started to record by the, in uh, their own way okay so no one will understand the other person accounting because everyone is recording everyone is using their own words for recording purpose so no one is understanding the other person books so it is very hard to compare these data okay so that is called single entry system where there is no specific set of rules that we use in accounting so that is called single entry system after some time the need for comparison between two companies two organization or two industry arises and after that double entry system is created now in every company they use the same method so it is very easy to compare these data yes or no because uh if if uh, you want to compare two things then the data should be same because if you want to compare the height of one person you can cannot compare with their skin color you have to compare it with their height yes yes okay so that's why 
data should be similar to compare. And in single entry system, the comparison is not possible because data is not similar. Okay. Okay. So these two systems that we use, we will discuss this in detail later, but there are many chapters that we have to study. I have just told you about accountancy, uh, the definition part, the meaning part. But you can see there are many chapters that we have to accounting and introduction. Yes. In this introduction chapter, we will discuss the concept of accounting, their objective, advantage, limitations, uh, the person who will use the data of accounting. And uh, then uh, we will know the meaning of important terms like assets, liabilities, income, expenses, uh, debtors, creditors. So these things we will discuss in this chapter, accounting and introduction, okay? Okay. The second chapter is accounting concept. In this, we will uh, talk about assumptions, conventions, concept related to this. You can see the chapter number three are also related. Actually, convention are in chapter three, okay? okay. After that, accounting for business transaction, journal and ledger. So we start recording transaction from journal. Journal is the first practical chapter, you can say. The L1, L2, and L3, uh, also L4. These are theory concept, theory chapter. Practical starts from journal, okay? Okay. Now, uh, in journal, we record the transaction first. That's why it is called books of original entry. So there are some set of rules. Uh, I also told you that in double entry system, there are certain rules prescribed and every business have to follow these rules because now we uh, want to compare our data with companies, industry. That's why our accounting method should be same. So journal is same for every organization. After that, ledger. So, ledger means classification of data. Ledger means classification of data in journal. In journal, we put transaction in chronological order. Means... Okay, in journal, we record transaction in chronological order. Okay. Okay. So if you want to find any mistake in these transactions or uh, you have done some mistake in this journal recording. So will you able to find the error easily or not? Yes. Easily. Okay. Let's say there is 1000 transaction. And there is one mistake. Now, there is 1000 transaction and there is only one mistake. Tell me, will you able to find it easily now? Yes, easily, I guess. Okay. So in 1000 transaction, there is only one mistake. So it is very difficult to find it because you have to go through all the transactions. You have to see all the transaction one by one to find one mistake. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So it will take time. It is not easy uh, work. So it will take time. The second thing, let's say in this 1000 transaction, there is total, uh, 30 to 40 transaction with a single person. Transaction with, uh, let's say, A. Okay, 30, 40 transaction with A. It is your business and you have done total 30, 40 transaction with A during a certain period. 
ओके 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 नाउ ए एट द एंड ऑफ द पीरियड ए केम एंड आस्क फॉर बैलेंस बैलेंस अमाउंट पेबल और रिसीवेबल let's say you have purchased goods on credit from a you have paid some amount so there is total 30 40 transaction so if a came and he will ask for balance payable and receivable then we cannot find the balance immediately because again we have to go through 1000 transaction to find the 30 40 transaction with a yes or no yes okay so that's why there is classification required there is classification required means okay so classification required this classification is done in ledger means if you have done transaction with 10 person okay you will write these 10 person name separately okay on a separate page if you are maintaining a notebook mm -hmm. and uh, all the transaction with the same person will be recorded at a single page okay so let's say okay. it is your business Okay, can you uh, tell me the pronunciation of your name? Khadija. Okay. Uh, the full name. Uh, Khadija Ansari. Khadija Ansari. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, your business, the name, and you have done transaction with A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now you will create a separate page for A, B, C, and D. You will not combine all the transaction. Okay. 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 Now, if you have purchased goods from A, then you will record purchase here. Then again, you will record payment here. Okay. If there is uh, any purchase return, means you have returned the goods. then you will write it here so all the amount all the transaction will be written together at a single page okay okay so in this manner at the end of a certain period you will easily find out the balance amount payable to a yes yes or no yes so that's why classification is required and it is called ledger so this is your l6 ledger i'm just giving you overview of all the chapters if you have any doubt you can ask okay don't hesitate in asking question so if you have any doubt okay any doubt no it's fine i understood so the next is a special purpose book actually cash book is also part of a special purpose book uh, it is also called subsidiary book so it is same as classification in ledger we classify the transaction but uh, in ledger there is no certain number of classification but in cash book or special purpose book there is total 6 and sometime 8 classification okay so it is predetermined and we have to prepare it in the same manner as ledger so we'll discuss these 
letter. After that, L9 trial balance. In trial balance, we prepare list of accounts. The number of ledger that we have created. We will calculate the balance of every account. Let's say if there is five person uh, with whom we have transacted with, and uh, there are certain other things like salary, rent, wages, or anything else. So if these transactions we have done, we will create separate account for every type of transaction. Like for salary, 12 month salary, there will be a separate account. For 12 month rent, there will be a separate account. So like this, we will create uh, many accounts and all these accounts will be balanced in last. Means you will calculate balance of each account. Like how much salary you have paid in 12, uh, in 12 months in one year. Uh, how much purchase you have made during the year. How much amount payable or receivable from someone. How much uh, income that we have received. How much sale we have made during the year. So all these things we will calculate balance and we will write it in trial balance. Okay. And okay. if trial balance both side, uh, there is two side. Uh, you can say uh, in accountancy side is called debit and credit. But uh, you can take it as left and right. So same thing, but the name is changed. So in accountancy, there is two sides, debit and credit. And if you do any transaction, your both side will match. Okay. Because in every transaction, there is two aspect, two effect. One is debit, one is credit. Same thing. Okay. So let's say if you have purchased something from someone, let's say, that you have purchased furniture, furniture of rupees 10,000. So furniture is coming in your hand, but in return, you have to pay cash. So furniture is also of rupees 10,000 and you have to pay cash of rupees 10,000. So one thing is coming, one thing is going. So there is two side of every transaction. There is also two person involved in every transaction. Then only transaction can happen. One is uh, the person who is a receiver of goods and the person who is giver of goods. So there is two person. If you have purchased goods for cash, then you are taking goods, paying cash. But if you have purchased goods on credit, it means you are taking goods and you will pay the money in future, but you will pay. So that's why for every transaction, there is two side and in trial balance, uh, also there is two side and both sides should match. If it is matching, then your uh, account, your ledger is arithmetically accurate. Okay. There is no mistake in ledger. So if trial balance match, it is indication of that. After that, we will prepare financial statement. Financial statement is prepared to know the profit and loss and financial condition, the main purpose of the business. We fulfill it with financial statement. Okay. So financial statement is also divided in two parts. One is income statement. Second is position statement. Income statement tell us that how much profit or loss we have earned during the year. And uh, Position statement tell us that how much assets we have, how much liability we have to pay. So uh, the actual position, actual uh, situation of our company. So it is financial statement. All these topics are part of 11th up to this point. Okay. So L21, after that, chapters for 12 starts if you see uh, you know the forms of business there are three forms of business you know about this forms of business no. so one is proprietorship Second is partnership and the third is company. 
means when one person is running a business then it is called proprietorship owner is only one person that's why it is called proprietorship when two or more person come together to run a business it is called partnership and the third is company means when uh, we take permission from the government we register ourselves with the government and then we start a business so it is called company company is a legal entity because it is registered with the government so these are three forms of business okay 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 now uh, these are three forms of business so you can see that up to this point we are always talking about proprietorship and after this point in 12th there is partnership and company so you can see here partnership then here company but all these chapters like trial balance bank reconciliation bills depreciation provisions all these are related with proprietorship okay okay so tell me uh, if you have any doubt up to this point the trial balance or no i understood now uh, do you know the meaning of assets assets means uh, the goods we have the goods we have like okay. the goods we own goods we own yes uh, you can say that things that we own Properties. okay in business actually asset uh, definition is little different it is broad so asset means items or properties of business which is in control of business due to some past action and which will give some future economic benefit to the company okay okay so first thing is under control it is under control of yours second is uh it will be used in operation of business used in operation or kept for sale both are assets so either you have some items that you want to sell or you have some assets that you have to use in your business like uh, there is two types of building one you want to sell and one you want to uh, run your business so in that property you want to operate your business so one is for use purpose second is for sale both are assets okay okay under control second is used in operation or kept for sale third is uh it will give us economic benefit in future means when we will use it it will give us economic benefit when we sell it it will give us economic benefit so if we sell it we will receive money and if we use it also then it will uh, give us some opportunity to earn money so that's why this this is called assets okay what is liabilities uh amount that we have to pay to someone okay okay so uh, there is classification of assets and liabilities both uh, one is called non current assets or liabilities and second is current assets or liabilities so assets or liabilities which will be converted in cash so for liability if i am talking about liability so liabilities which will be paid within 12 months is current and which will be paid after 12 months is non current can okay. you repeat the liabilities is after we pay the after 12 months it's called current and after no no, no sorry 12 
the liabilities are if we pay it before 12 months it's current and if we pay it after 12 months it's non current yes very good so in the same manner asset is also non current and current if you want to sell the asset within 12 months then it is current and if you want to sell your asset after 12 months or after 5 year or 10 years then it is non current okay okay now it is not important that for how much time we have kept our asset sometime we keep one asset for 6 month okay let's say that i have a furniture and i want to sell it within 6 month but i am not able to sell so it is sold after 12 months so will it be recorded as non current yes no actually because intention is important the actual situation is not important for recording purpose intention is important means if you want to sell it within 6 month then it is always current asset if you are able to sell then good if you are not able to sell also then it is current because your intention is to sell it within 6 month as soon as possible yes yes okay so it is current so intention you have to see so current assets non current assets then current liabilities and non current liabilities now uh, there are some items under stock also you know what is a stock stocks are that we keep in for business like um some things stock like uh for what the word no i should try to remember okay which was your favorite subject in 10th um english science sometimes english and science sometimes what does it mean <laughs> not always sometimes it's hard like only physics is hard chemistry sometimes it was easy and bio also okay so when it is easy it is your favorite when it is hard then it is <laughs> not perfect yes and what about mathematics maths it's okay not 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 that much good favorite because it is always difficult yes when i don't understand it okay there are certain part of mathematics that we have to use in accountancy like calculation part add subtract multiply division these things and there are certain things like percent is ratio understand just calculate okay okay we'll discuss these things actually i think uh, this is very easy part in mathematics so easy one is your favorite i think yes okay so uh good now a stock a stock means items which is left at the end of the year or at the end of any certain period so if you are doing a business of uh, let's say furniture so anything anything which is made of wood uh, timber is furniture and if there is any item left unsold then it is called a stock unsold items and which items items which is your main operation which, which is your uh, main business okay so unsold item of your main business is called stock now uh, if you divide it if you divide it by time the stock is divided into two category which is called opening stock and closing stock in business 
actually these words will be used all the time that's why i have to explain some of the main words that we will use so opening stock and closing stock so the stock which is left at the end of the year is closing now what is opening stock means at the end of previous year if it is closing then in the beginning of next year it will become opening stock confused Khadija, confused? Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't heard it. I was saying that at the end of the year, if there is some unsold items, it is called closing a stock. And it will become opening a stock in our next period. Okay. So you understood this part or confused? I'm a little confused. Okay. Think about it. This is 1st April 2000. Uh, not 1st April, actually. Let's take January and December. Okay, it is 1st Jan 2023. And year will end on 21st December 2023. Yes? Yes, yes. And the next year will end on 31st December 2024. So if in this year there is one closing stock at this point there is some closing stock then this closing stock will become opening a stock for this period yes or no yes because if let's say on 31st December 2023 evening you have some items left in your uh, go down okay okay so on 1st jan 2024 same items will be in your go down yeah. yes or no yes because uh, on 31st december if you close your shop with some items left and when you will open on the next day that is 1st january 2024 the same items will be in your shop. Okay. Understood. Okay. So that's yes. why the closing stock of previous year will become the opening stock of current year. Okay. You are not sure. You're still confused. Little bit. It's easy only, but let me explain it by another method. Let's say uh, today is thirtieth July. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you have some money in your hand or purse, like five hundred, one thousand? So let's yes. say you have 1000 rupees in your purse okay okay and at night you have the same amount and uh, in next day morning 1st august uh, actually 31st july let me take it on 1st august what will be the balance of cash 1000 rupees 1000 so you can see the closing amount of july automatically becomes the opening amount of august oh yes okay, okay. understood so that's why 31st december 2023 is the previous day and 1st january is the next day so this stock will become the stock of first january automatically okay so this is opening stock and closing stock now tell me if you have any confusion because there are some uh, parts that we have to discuss but 
uh, we'll discuss it in our next class. If you have any doubt, you can ask Kosh. No, I understood this part. Okay. Yes.